Welcome back to wait, Green's Agents, my name is Agent Crazy. Welcome back to Harry Potter Hogwarts uh, Mystery. We're gonna continue with the uh, Scaredy Cats mission. We got like three more left, so I figured we might as well just Okay. Oh, congratulations, you stopped the cribs and reunited Fang, Mrs. Norris, and several other pets. You stopped the cribs and reunited Fang, Mrs. Norris, and several other pets with their, lovely, with their loving guardians. Head to the West Towers to find Mrs. Norris and tap her to collect pages. Uh, okay. Head to the West Tower. <laughs> Thanks for meeting us here, Mark. I'm, I'm really worried about Garfield. Thanks for meeting us here, Ben. I'm really worried about Garfield. Oops. Said your cat drank some sleeping draught? Some common draught? Do you know how much much? idea how much, but enough to be far more than calm. Garfield won't wake up. How's one usually wake up a sleeping cat? Usually just having Garfield will do the trick. I think I try is working right now. I hope Madame Poffer can help. Fang looks just as scared of a sleeping cat as he does of one who's awake. Oh. What's going on here? This is not a veterinary hospital. Out, out before your animals disturb before your animals disturb my patience. There's no one here right now, Madame Palfrey. The curse is plaguing Hogwarts these days. At any moment, we got a full house. Especially if you find yourselves here far too often, either as a patient or a visitor. We aren't here, but the curse. Please, Madame Palfrey, I need your help. I can't drink sleeping dro common drop. <clears throat> now Garfield's asleep and won't wake up. You give common draw to a cat. It's my, f it's my fault. I tend to give a little common draw to Fang. What well, cat got to it first? I've been taking good care of Gruffle today, but today I botched things up. What oh, Mark had the best intentions, Madame Palfrey. Tell that to this cat, Mr. Cooper. Now let's have a look at Garfield while you tell me exactly what happened. <laughs> you can examine. Whoop. This is my fault. The common draw was my idea. Will you hold your cat while I take a closer look? The common draw wearing off? I can't tell. I think a cat that has to be cured of, cured of his fear before a pet gathering today. Perhaps your cat's just exhausted. You can be quite a handful. Zzzz. Fang must be confused by all of this. Your cat appears to be healthy by cat standards. Any cat would be lucky to have you for an owner, Mark. He's a tiny one about the common drop, Madame Palfrey. It'll be alright, Garfield. Oof. Thought calming a drought might help might help a friend and pet. I don't know what I'll do. Man, I don't know what I'll do if Garfield isn't alright. I think my hat can help cure things fear cats. Okay then. So 
So yeah, well, my cat be all right. I think that's all of them. Otherwise, it's repeating itself. Yeah, it appears to be repeating itself. It will appear that your cat's not in crisis, just sitting very soundly. Oh, thank you, Madam Poffrey. I'm used to train people, not pets, so I, so I suggest you still consult a cat expert. Now, what is plaguing, plaguing this dog? He's practically trembling. Man, he's not sick, he's just scared Garfield and cat and you know, cats in general. Oof. I have to insist that you take your scared dog and sleeping, sleepy cat out of my hospital wing. I need, I'll need a broom to straight up the pet hair. They have to cure Fangs for an a cat expert about Sleepy Garfield. I'm a cat expert who might also help with Fangs for cats. I think I know who might be able to help. Who have better experience? Who would be a better cat expert than someone who has experience as a cat herself? Huh. That's McGonagall. Brilliant idea. <laughs> Thanks for your help, then. I'll take Fang Garfield to the Transfiguration Classroom. Are you seeking extra help with your studies? I can see you after my next class. I heard, I've heard that you might need my help with something other than lessons. Come to my classroom now. Sorry, P Madam Pomfrey, I'm pressing my gong on the same voice I can't do. Well, Mr. Marston. Well, that worked, but then she also sounds like Madam Pomfrey. Broomsticks at once. <sighs> What's this? Bringing a cat and a dog into my classroom? Is that Hagrid's puppy? Yes, it's Fang, and this is my cat Garfield, who drank some sleeping calming draught. I see. Now, Poffrey thinks Garfield will be okay, but I thought I should talk to someone. Who? Someone who has an an animagus form of a cat? Yes, I need an expert. And how exactly did you come to have common dropped? Technically, Penny Haywood brewed it. I see. What I'm saying from Best Sand is that she's a very talented brew potioner. Though she must all have brewing advanced potions outside of class can be dangerous if not done correctly. I certainly hope someone didn't. Not I certainly hope someone didn't request Best Haywood will bend the rules and tell on her for it. Sorry, Professor McGonagall. Well, I'll be pleased to know your cat will be, f be fine. It's upon eventually waking up. You don't need to spend have to spend time with a cat to know it. You have to have more experience with common drop. I understand, Professor McGonagall. I go to Garfield. Like, okay, I'm so worried. The beer thing is fairly worried about your cat too. No, Fang is actually scared of Garfield and all of cats thanks to Mrs. Norris. I could suggest a thing saying that they with a cat might help, but it didn't work. I suppose that's because Gar Garfield was asleep for most of the time. You were to be helping Fang. So you're saying spending time with a cat could truly help Fang with his fear? An experienced cat, yes. Please help me, would you? Please, would you help me, Professor McGongo? I don't want to let down Fang or Hagrid. Let's see what I can do. Fang's like, oh god, a cat! <laughs> I don't want any part of this! Make progress with pets. Professor Gong gave me tips for taking care of my cat. That's it, Fang. Cats are nothing to fear. <laughs> my cat will let me know what's sticking. My Gong is already putting Fang at ease. I don't know if my cat could be friends. I think Garfield is starting to wake up. Okay, I think it's time to repeat itself now. Yeah. Purr. Hit. Oh, Garfield and Fang will be friends when all this is done. Fang is looking less afraid. I don't know exactly what I don't know what 
what my Conkle is doing exactly, but it's working. So, Goggle, what we did, I think it worked. Yes, I confirm it, fear cats. If I, that, you, that thanks fear cat. Fear of cats, at least. I have been elevated through, through my expert ex intervention. I've that case more experience than your cat in, in that regard. And look who's awake. Yeah. Garfield, you're alright. Thank you for my Goggle. We're to help with Garfield. Thank. It was very wise of you to bring the pets to me. Why is that to deserve house points? Not in light of your experimentation with common drop, you're welcome to bring Garfield uh, for, a warm, for a warm bowl of milk at any time. Garfield's like, yeah, I like the sound that. And Fang looks so happy. Look at his cute face. You're welcome to a warm bowl of milk too, Fang. So I'm gonna go. Fang is a very important pet gathering to go to in a bit. And he's still generally a timid dog. I'm sure Fang will be okay around all the cats when we leave here. I suppose the best way to test. The test fake fits all will be to go and confront Mrs. Norris herself. That was actually, that's what we should do right now. Oof. I was making rumors about Mrs. Norris. She and I will be looking for you. That changed my mind. You can come and find Mrs. Norris and me. Now. So you're the one who's been spreading rumors about Mrs. Norris stealing bones. I'm not spreading rumors. Mrs. Norris did steal a bone from Hagrid's puppy and hissed at him too. See? Just like that. It's all my cat and I can do to help Fangor fear cats that Mrs. Norris caused him. And we had to do it before the pet gathering. Pet gathering? What's this about pet? Gathering, what's this pet gathering all about? If you, you and Mrs. Norris are welcome to come, and Mrs. Norris beha can behave herself. It's a social gathering for pets organized by Haggard. It's, it's puppy fangs and guests of honor. We'll think about it. For the record, Mrs. Norris can get along brilliant with anyone. We're about to put that to the test. Trying to face your fears, Fang. Garfield's like, <laughs> I like pie. <laughs> Test Fang's bravery. Of course you're my favorite cat. You're doing great, Fang. Stay strong. You don't seem like a cat person. I should be studying your curse breaking. Do I know this cat of yours? Garfield afraid of Mrs. Norris? Thanks so well, but now my uh, cat looks scared of your cat. Fang and your cat are the problem, not my Mrs. Norris. You don't, you don't understand, Mr. Phil. My cat needs to go to the pet gathering too. Hang me realize I haven't helped Garfield well as, as well as uh, socializing. Fang, you did it. You're more than scared of your fear cats. You you were just brave for a moment there. And Garfield's trying to thank you too, Fang. Woof! Look at my look at this cute face! Look at that cute little face, Fang has! Now I've had enough. Why is everyone pig on Mrs. Norris? She's delightful. Okay, Mrs. Norris. Fang and Garfield have a pet gathering. Go to Fang Garfield and I have a pet gathering to get to get to at the train grounds. Woof woof. I'm rounding up the guests for the pet gathering. I'm ready for you, for you and Fang and your cat soon. Oh, I'm sure to, you occurred. I sure hope you occurred, Fang. Pet gathering at the train ground starts now. I don't know why you turned into Sir Filch there for a second. What? I like some animals. Hey, 
Thanks, Curry. We'll be able to play fetch with me. Fuzz Club would love this party. Angry, you turn the train house into a pet party? Nah, just a humble gathering to help to help me put make some friends at the, at the Hogwarts. And I couldn't have done it without you, Mark. You see all the cats here? Now I couldn't, I, you know, I didn't need to help you, Hagrid. Thanks, brave than anyone gives him credit for. He really isn't. But it's nice of you to say so. At least cared Fang of his fear cats. It's not got a lot to do with it in Garfield, of course. And wanting to get to know your cat better. Let's join the others. See your cat awake and having fun. Meow, meow. I don't know why I was obsessed with your cat. Woof, woof, woof. You must have a brilliant time, especially Garfield. I never seen me pup happier. You think you could cure Fang's other fears? Your cat is even clothed in Fuzzclaw. Don't tell Fuzzclaw. We're gonna get the stick, Fang, and bring it back. I do enjoy seeing so many Hogwarts pets socialize to socializing together. Oh, the cat's like, I'm gonna go again. I'm gonna go again. Things are brilliant, Garfield. I couldn't, I can't think you enough, Mark. I'm gonna see your wicked cat awake and having fun. Okay, so I think it's just starting to repeat itself now. I have to play more games for Hogwarts pets, all of them seem fun, especially Fang. Woof! I mean, I'll be happy to join you anytime. Yeah. Have to join us. Garfield is. Oh, you'll have to join us. Garfield's, Garfield's Fang's new favorite friend. Glad my cat's making friends at Hogwarts, just like I've been, just like I've been doing. Yeah. So this is a pet gathering. It looks, it looks, it just looks like a bunch of pets loitering on the ground. Oh, with trees and balloons, it took me all day to set it up for all of you. Now mind your manners, Mrs. Norris. We don't get invited to too many parties. So, uh, thanks for having us, Mr. Marson. Of course, that's Mrs. That's Mrs. Norris and Garfield become friends, they become friends too, yeah? Or perhaps we'll just get Back to join the gathering. Perhaps that's what, yes, perhaps, perhaps that's what we should do. Yeah. Guess we know what Garfield wants to do. You need my cow such a party now. You make quite a team. Look forward to see the two of you roam the halls of Hogwarts together for a long time to come. Oof, oof. Helping out. I'll see you agents for the next mission.